Art is a special subject for several high school students, but one school in northern Michigan is lacking some crucial artistic tools. We sent 7 of 4's Alyssa Heron over to Benzie Central High School, where the students and their art teacher have set up a community fundraiser all to earn money for art. Good morning, Alyssa. Good morning, Brendan and Melissa. I am here with Sarah Aben. She is the art teacher here at Benzie Central High School. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks for being here. Of course. Now, tell me about this um, campaign that you just kicked off. Yeah, so we kicked off a Kickstarter.com campaign called Wheel Woes, Students for Ceramic Arts, um, to raise money for a potter's wheel, at least one potter's wheel. If we get more than we... Um, need we can get more than one uh, but also upgrading ventilation to our kiln and some other fun things absolutely and you know what gave you the inspiration um, to start a campaign like this with your students so actually the inspiration came from another successful Kickstarter campaign that happened last summer locally in Benzie County called Sunny and the Elk um, it just really inspired us to get behind an idea like this because of all the community support that surrounded the Sunny and the Elk project. Just thinking about getting the community behind ours was ex an exciting idea. Okay, and once again, when is the deadline to donate? So the deadline to donate is coming up really fast. It's actually Friday morning at 9.36 a.m. and it's done. And if we don't receive our base goal, which is $4,101, we won't receive any of the pledges okay. that we've raised so far. All right, and um, just so you know, you do receive something special, or you can when you mm -hmm. donate, and tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, so there's a no reward selection if you just want to donate any amount. You can donate as little as a dollar. Every dollar counts, but you can also select things like a wheel thrown bowl. They'll be the first bowls thrown on our potter's wheel, or pendants. Um, there's this really cool hot plate, um, a plaque that you can have your name put on if you donate a certain amount. Yeah, so really great gifts okay. as well and most of all what do you hope that your students take away from this oh really just expanded opportunities um i think that my students deserve the same opportunities as students at other public schools so having a potter's wheel will just bring us up to that next level with our arts programming wonderful and once again where can they do this and um how do they do it so go to kickstarter.com and type in wheel woes wheel like wheel is spelled and then w-o-e-s it should come up you could also um, go to Facebook and type in BCHS Art, okay. and we've got lots of posts with direct links to the, the page as well. Okay, well, thanks yeah. so much for joining us this morning, and thanks. coming up at 6.30, we're going to be speaking with some students and how they took part in this campaign. Um, all of this information and more will be on our website at upnorthlive.com. In Benzie, Alyssa Heron, 7 and 4 News. You know, when we first heard about this story, I just thought it was fantastic to see students coming together to do mm -hmm. the fundraising. They, you know, they saw, okay, we need something else for, for the art class. Mm -hmm. We're going to try to raise the money ourselves. Mm -hmm. I thought that was really noble. And art is something that could be what a student goes to school exactly. for. Exactly. And be, they may sure. not be involved in band or sports. Art right. may be their thing. So their this, passion. Yeah, so this is definitely an important topic to a lot of people. Plus, 7 and 4's Lissa Heron joins us from Benzie Central High School this morning to tell us more about a Kickstart program art students have started in order to raise money for crucial art supplies. Find out how you can help and receive a gift in return. I am back, and this time joining me is Ashley, Bailey, and Allie, and they're all art students here, and all seniors, correct? correct? Well, thanks for joining us this early. And, you know, <laughs> I want to ask you, first of all, tell me about the campaign and what is it called and what do you expect to get out of this? We launched a project on a, a, a website <laughs> called Kickstarter called Wheel Woes, where we're trying to raise just over $4,000 to raise money for a throwing wheel and ventilation for our kiln. Okay. And so right now, kind of tell me what you're doing in your class if you're not able to use a wheel and, you know, what you hope to get out of this. Well, right now we've been hand building and doing as much as we can to um, substitute for lack of the wheels and we've been going to different schools in the art center to have somewhat of a hands-on experience with the wheel and they've been really helpful with our project as well and we've been making awesome videos to promote it and yeah tell me about that you're not only working inside of school to do this you guys have all been working on little videos outside where can people watch those uh, you can use vine or f our facebook page at bchs art it has all the links to our youtube videos and what did those kind of showcase well there's some pretty interesting scenes of all of us um, acting out what it would be like if we had a wheel and what it's like since we don't have them and just trying to get more funding community for our involvement. community, yeah. All right, well, thanks. And Allie, you know, I want you to tell me how can people donate and how much have you raised so far? Uh, so far we've raised just over a little 
just over $3,000. Um, and if people donate, they can choose to pick rewards, um, such as these little hand-thrown bowls. And cute necklaces, right? Yep, <laughs> necklaces and hot plates. Um, and the final date is Friday at 936, so keep okay. pledging. Okay. okay. And um, most importantly, what is the website called that people can do this? Uh, Kickstarter.com slash wheel woes. Okay, well, thank you guys so much for joining us this morning. And once again, all of this information and more will be on our website at upnorthlive.com if you want to help these students out. I mean, I think it is a really fun thing that, you know, you could leave behind for the other students, even though you are seniors. <laughs> but uh, once again, reporting in Benzie, Alyssa Heron, 7 and 4 News.